guys welcome back to my channel in the previous bow video that I posted we worked with three inch ribbon we made some pretty massive size hair bows that measured about six inches in width they were huge honking bows now I had some questions regarding two inch ribbon and how the two inch compares to the three inch as far as size and width goes so I thought we would break out some two inch ribbon and see for ourselves so since I'm going to be working with two inch ribbon I thought we would make two different hair bows I've got a lovely shade of hot pink I love this and I've also got some bright yellow and a red again these measure two inches in width they're pretty large but not as large as the three inch ribbon all right so the first bow I'm gonna make is a twisted boutique bow just so we can measure this bow with the one that we made yesterday all right so if you happen to have some two inch ribbon in your craft stash go ahead and break it out and we will get started all right and again I have the list of usual suspects I've got my thread I'm going to be using the crochet thread the poor little crochet thread um, I've also got my scissors my lighter my awesome awesome stiff and quick that two inch ribbon I'm also going to have my ruler handy my hot glue gun is plugged up and we are ready to roll Okay, I'm going to be doing just the simple hand folded twisted boutique bow. I'm going to be working with the right side first. I'm going to come over and I'm going to twist my wrist. Just twist your wrist and form a loop. So twist it and be sure you are holding that loop. See, there's our first little loop. You just twist your wrist and form the loop. Now your tail is on the opposite side. We're going to bring it over. And we are going to twist the opposite way up at the top and we're gonna go over that first ribbon tail and they'll cross each other all right so now the ribbon is at the bottom we're gonna form that third loop underneath the first so you want to give it a twist and we're going to tuck it underneath the first loop see it's right there now you got three your tails on this side now we're going to twist this going like that and down so twist it going down all right and remember i just twist it where my tail is on the bottom this is the part where you give everything a look Make sure it's all nice and even, your loops that is. And then we're going to crease. And you just come up right here at the very top, press down, hold it. Right here, you're gonna come up from the bottom. Come up, crease it, and then back down with the rest of the ribbon. And there is your crease. And you're gonna wanna hold that the crease is everything all right so you want to take your thread and secure it once it is secure with your thread now is the time to fluff and stuff and you just take it and you tug on it until it is as loopy as you want it and i think we'll go for a loopy loopier bow today than we did yesterday and then you'll want to trim up your tail of course and heat seal and then once you have the desired shape that you're going for you can take your stiff and quick or your starch or your hairspray spray it so it holds its shape and then you can put it on the clip okay for the second bow I'm going to be doing the octopus bow again yes I'm going to attempt it again this time we're going to be using the two inch ribbon instead of the seven eighth inch ribbon um, I've got two pieces of ribbon I've got a red and a yellow both measure 40 inches in length I'm going to make up two twisted boutique bows we're going to put them together and this is probably going to be a huge octopus bow let's see how it goes
If you guys watch me make that octopus style bow, then you will know that I'm not an expert on it. Um, and I have really, really so much difficulty when it comes to the middle. Um, I'm just really used to all four of my loops being really loopy. So when you put them together and they're not loopy, it just, it drives me insane a little bit. But you know what? I'm going to let go. Just let go, Linda. All right, so I've got my yellow Twisted Boutique and my red Twisted Boutique bow completely finished. Everything is heat sealed. Now all we have to do is put them together. And remember, we just put middle to middle right there in the middle and you secure it with thread and this already looks huge <laughs> all right so i'm going to hold this huge bow and secure it with thread and we're going to cross our fingers that i can let go when it comes to those middle loops not being loopy all right you know what this reminds me of? McDonald's. <laughs> it reminds me of Ronald McDonald. All right, so let me secure this huge thing together and then we will fluff it and try not to stress about these. Uh, here I go, stressing over these middle loops again. I don't know, maybe if I spray it with my stiff and quick and put it on the clip, then I can get it to cooperate. This is pretty large. Let's measure this. This measures, oh my, seven, is that seven inches? Six inches. Well, uh, six and a half inches, you guys. That's pretty big. I like the colors. McDonald's. Now I want french fries. Alright, so I added the octopus bow to a clip. All I have to do is fluff it just a little bit more and spray it. Um, but yeah, this is the octopus bow with the 2 inch ribbon and it's definitely a lot bigger than the 7 8 inch. I will admit that I like this style bow with the bigger width ribbon, probably like a one and a half inch. This is definitely going to be too big for Kennedy's head, but um, if you like big bows, this is the way to go. Again, this one measures right at uh, six and a half inches in width. Um, again, I used 40 inches for both Twisted Boutique Bow. All right, so let me spray this and uh, get it good and stiff, and then I'll show you all of today's creations. I did end up making three bows today. I made the six and a half inch octopus bow. Again, all of the bows that I made today is with the two inch ribbon. I made a 5 inch wide Twisted Boutique Bow and then I made a 7 inch wide Twisted Boutique Bow. Yes, I said 7 inch wide. Alright, so for the 5 inch bow we used 40 inches of the 2 inch ribbon. For this 6 and a half inch octopus bow I used two Twisted Boutique Bows. Each one of these had 40 inches of ribbon for a total of 80 inches of ribbon. And again, that measures six and a half inches in width. Now for this massive mama of a bow, it is measuring seven inches wide. I used 45 inches of ribbon. I was trying to get something similar to the amount of ribbon that I used in the silver bow um, the other day, which I used 50 inches of three inch ribbon for this bow and it's six inches across. So 45 inches of two and a half inch ribbon will make a seven inch wide hair bow. However, let me stress, if you make this size bow or even probably a six inch, you're definitely gonna need to spray it. And when I say spray it, I mean generously with your stiff and quick or your hairspray or your starch, whatever you do, because I'm, I'm trying not to move this. This is why it's not on a clip because I had to spray it so much because of the amount of ribbon I used. If I didn't, it would be all flimsy and the loops would just be falling all over themselves. So if you want a wider 
uh, with ribbon or bow like this one. I would recommend going with a three inch uh, ribbon. It just holds a little bit better without so much spray. But again, this will make a huge ribbon. All right, so this is seven inches. This is six inches, but this is using three inch ribbon, two inch ribbon. So they are pretty much, I don't know, they're probably similar in size. All right, and this is the five inch hair bow with the two inch ribbon. All right, so let me put it underneath, see? Much smaller, and I have not put this one on a clip because I ran out of clips. Who runs out of clips? What bow maker runs out of clips? This one. All right, so there's the five inch, there's the seven inch, and again, this was the six inch from the previous video. And then here is the six and a half inch. All right, guys, but that is all for today. Again, these right here used two inch ribbon. This one, I cannot wait to dry and put on a clip and see how huge it's gonna be on Kennedy's head. Should be quite funny. All right, guys, let me know down below what size ribbon you want me to work with next, and be sure to visit the Facebook page and leave me some photos if you make any hair bows.